Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 27 of the Autodesk Maya 2017 training series. So uh, we can set keyframes to attributes and what we can also do is we can assign controllers to it just like we uh, did the basic uh, car rigging uh, to the individual attributes as well. For example, let's use the same example for color. I'm going to right click and assign a new material to this just like before. Okay, let's move it up. I'm going to assign, let's say something like blue. Okay. And then what I can do is I can assign a controller to this. Let's say, for example, let me take this curve right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. And instead of set key, I'm going to do set driven key. All right. And inside the set driven key, you can see that blend is selected. So I'm going to select color RGB because I want to add in keyframe to the color value right here. So I'm going to select this and click load driver. So let's say, for example, when I move this up, then I want the transparent, I want to change the color. So I'm going to select translate Y and I'm going to select my driven key now, just like uh, I ring in the car. So I'm going to key this. Okay, then I'm going to move my controller up go back to the object and then to the blend. Then I'm going to change the color. For example, I'm going to change it to yellow now and then press key again, key. So now what happens is that this actually is linked to the attribute right here. And you might have noticed in the last lesson that actually when I um, apply keyframe to the attributes right here, then it doesn't show up in the menu right here. So I cannot really control the graph for this. But now you can see that now I can actually control this and this actually can be a smooth animation. So for example, now I can simply press S. You can see the uh, um, keyframe right there. So I can go down, press S, go up, press S, go down, press S, go up, press S. And you can see that uh, you can actually have this kind of an animation just like that. All right. And the good thing about this is now you can actually see the animation graph of this um, circle right here because this is directly controlling the attribute for this object. So I'm going to go into Windows and then I'm going to uh, the animation editors, then graph editors, then you can see that there you go, there's actually the attribute for the color itself. So I can actually now control the color animation to the graph right here. So you can see that this actually controls the color uh, which is which gives me more control over uh, while doing the animation. So anyways, hope you guys learned something as always. Well.